not gonna play a, the, the what the soldier boy is just gonna kill a 2-2 here. So this plant food is active. This needs to hit three lanes. So he would really have to play three minions to not die. <laughs> the Brainano wins there too, guaranteed lethal, but <laughs> that's a 15 damage shot from Starfruit. Holy crap with that game. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Fry. Okay, I did it. You guys were asking, how come you don't run card feast and everything like that? I made a complete RNG deck for you. Okay, every card except for Berry Blast and Plant Food are have some kind of luck. Whether it's conjuring something with banana peel, whether you got more conjures, the re reincarnation. Decent card, by the way, because it always gets these stats. So if you play this in op opportunistic time, uh, you could get a really good tempo play. Running Seedling, you guys have been begging me every Kabloom deck. Doesn't matter, it's a ramp deck. You guys are like, run Seedling in a ramp. Fine, here we go. Captain Cucumber, that's going to be the heart and soul. It's going to make all your conjures cost less. Here's a card, I don't know. We're going to leap things with Maul. <laughs> I don't know. Transfiguration, and then you're gonna conjure more with Plucky Clover. Just to have a chance of surviving the early game, I ran Berry Blast, which is three damage to anything and plant food. Just so if we do conjure something that has the power to win the game. Um, bonus attacks. Let's see how the deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Captain Cringe. Thank you, Sandwich, for that name. Uh, so I will be keeping luck score, but we speak for bets, we will be keeping track also of wins and losses. So Oh, uh, these games are going to take forever. Let's say eight games, yeah? And if you think I'm going to win... If you think I'm going to win, then you an RNG deck. We're going to go for five out of eight today. So if you think this deck can win five games or more, vote yes. If we break even at four out of eight, then it's a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fryamount. If we win five out of eight, it means this deck could hit Ultimate League. <laughs> We're going to need a lot of luck today. Ooh, that's a lot of molecules. Oh, this looks pretty good. I'll keep multiple molecules, why not? I think the Captain Cucumber is the only actual good card in this time. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go here. Come on, Berry Blast. Okay. Prime up, you look 18. I'm 34. I'm 33 or 34. I don't remember. Born in 88, so in 2023, I'll be 35. I'm 34. I don't know why I can't remember how old I am. That's odd. <laughs> Wait, you need no worky. I'm just Rick from the airplane. That's basically my entire personality, is Rick from the airplane. <laughs> oh, Laz, did you miss any drama? Oh, hell yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't want this dying. I'm gonna. This is the only way we're gonna win this game, so I'm just gonna do a dry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why did we face infinity? I just feel like we're gonna fall behind the first couple of turns a lot. Maybe I shouldn't have kept double molecule, you know? Fry, you are older than Jesus was when he died. I'm older than <laughs> Jesus was when he died. People used to live to 30, you know? Back in the good old days. <coughs> Bruh. I don't know what to do here. I feel like I want to milk the Captain Cucumber for like one extra turn. That only costs one? Let's go. Uh, he'll probably just bounce the T2. No, he doesn't like the cucumber. Okay. Damn, that's a 4 1 strike there. I probably should have just put this dry instead of sacrificing it. See, now our curve is too high. I think this is going to be the story every single game. We unfortunately got a cornucopia. Well, it can't be a pogo, but I think we just lose to Infinity Pirates here. It's a 5 5. We're so dead. Yeah, let's get strike through also. And we lose. Alright guys, we're 0-1. 
What's the thing? I ha I need more early game? I need a mulligan harder. I kept two molecules. That was probably the problem. Extremely unlucky game. Seven points of unluck. You guys know how this works. Maybe we'll add some repeat monsters into this deck. Would you compete in another large scale tourney? Also, I still crave some spire. Yeah, I'll play Slay the Spire at some point. Would I do another tournament? I don't know. It was so much work. There's times where I like really want to, you know? It feels like it would be a lot of fun, but I don't know, man. We only play this against Cheese Cutter. Kind of why this card exists to counter and turn on Cheese Cutter. You know what? We shouldn't take that first game to heart. That was Infinity Pirates. That was the best deck in the game, you know? A player on Acid Rain. Why does this only. This should have three health, man. Just make it like a card that always survives. No! Come on, Cat Lady! Got one of the best, oh gosh, one of the best two drifts. The best things you can get from summoning, right? Don't get much better than that. He's running now, let's just go. Please, no acid rain. No, oh, he did summoning anyway. God. That's crazy! Okay, basically no chance of winning. I'll save that. <laughs> well, if we get Cornucopia, we're not gonna win. I need a playable card just to make this tempo back. Oh, man. Getty? Just running Getty. Uh, I'm gonna do it like this. We'll get two good conjures. Please, no more cornucopias. Any cheap cards. Okay, okay, this works. Make around with something here. Oh, Allosaurus, okay. Okay, no, okay. I think this is a, I think this is doable. Uh, I think we're just gonna go for the time to shine here. <laughs> so good. Looks good to me. Yeet. I feel like you're just gonna win this turn. Oh, we can do this too. Aha! Die! Maybe this should have gone here. Oh, Brainana. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. This is not gonna work. Oh, yes! Oh my gosh! So that's just another 8 damage on top of that. <laughs> we also have plant food, and there's not a whole lot he can do. He's not gonna play a. He's not gonna play a. The, the what's a soldier boy is just gonna kill a 2 2 here. So this plant food is active. This needs to hit three lanes. So he would really have to play three minions to not die. <laughs> the Brainano wins there too, guaranteed lethal, but <laughs> that's a 15 damage shot. And Starfruit. Holy crap with that game. Guys, and we're up to 18 points of luck. And this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. <laughs> Dear God. Okay. 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 <laughs> That's a lot of damage. This is a lot of damage. 
guess that's why we're running plant food, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Um. Um. That's a cool hand right there. Come back. Country is right. <laughs> Highlight entry. <enter. coughs> Oops. Sorry, the luck score. They messed it up. We're one and one. We could bury blast. I could just let that. I don't have to bury blast there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play seedling. Hell yeah. It's not a lot. He didn't play a super on turn one. No. I played a little Marvel Snap. It was hard for me to really get into it. It was too easy. I know it gets harder and when you play against real people, but I don't know. I feel like a game has to really grab my attention in the first five or ten minutes, or I'm just not gonna like make it through an hour of a boring game to get to the fun part, you know? Yeah, especially because I played that game more than an hour. I played for hours already. Come on, Seedling! Come on, Seedling! Give us, give us something good! At least a three cost card! No, no, no! Okay, that is a three cost card! Oh, shut up, Brian! <laughs> it's, so... it's the saddest day for all the Jews. Literally. Alright, these cats and cucumbers are gonna get us back into it here. Ah, <laughs> he got blob, it's fine. Alright. I'll, I'll try to deny the teleports, I'll give him this. Uh, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely ten points of unluck. We got a zero-one from Seedling. Bruh, what are you doing, bruh? Ten points of unluck. The close call in the luck race. Oh my gosh. So it's Captain Cucumber. And then we'll play this card and see. This costs two less, so it might give us like a free berry blast or something. Uh, it's a one cost berry angry? Oh, well, I'll take that. This is a one cost card. It's really good. Here's another t two. Minus two cost legendary, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is, you need Captain Cucumber for this deck to be good. Having two, oh my gosh. My Diane, that is literally the worst card you could have gotten from Seedling. There's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than a zero one, I believe it. There's that. Man, this guy's drawing too many cards. You have to do something about him. <coughs> Literally the worst card. There's no other zero ones in the game, right? <laughs> what about another seed? At least another seedling can do something. This can't do a damn, not a damn thing. Now what do we do? We could be Rex Super. I could Berry Blast something. They could go three one one. Is Berry Blasting something better? I could Maul go. I think this is good. Because it kills this in Commander too. We'll do the Berry Angry like with the B-Rex next turn or something. So we're going to conjure another card here. We're not going to run out of cards. <laughs> not doing a lot of damage either. Oh, that's cool. It works kind of extra well, the berry. I'll probably play B Rex either way though. So, Banana Source Rex, Berry Angry, like Super, something like that. Look at this play. Look at this punk of junk. What is he gonna do though? Should I play this on the B Rex? I mean, this it's kind of like. It's gonna go up to six anyway. 
<laughs> he can't like rocket his way out of that. This one can get laser based alpha though. I feel like this is probably the most dangerous one. All right, I'm gonna buff Captain. Kim. Screw this guy. I think we got this one. <laughs> how is he gonna? How is he gigantic? Is gonna deal with this? He's gonna have to like teleport in, imp throwing imp, and play a dead. De I don't know. It's a lot. Put this one on the lowest attack guy, just because right now, even though he's at 16 health, it's gonna kinda not gonna last very long. What is he gonna cowboy? What is he teleporting? Is the real question. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's seven. This will do six now because of the girl. Die. Here's a shot. Got six more coming. H -E, he's playing it in this lane just to, to, just because he thinks that'll prevent him from getting six damage here. Guys, all that we need is a berry blast, really. <laughs> this works too, though. Die! Which one's the, the saltiest one? The high voltage current? Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, guys. We're up to at least 30 points of luck now. Obviously, no skill on that one. That was just pure luck. Man, Captain Cucumber, though? This deck really only has one good card in it, it's Captain Cucumber. <laughs> okay, Berry Blast and Plant Food are decent. <laughs> It'll play around Chicken Egg. HG Chicken Egg. Express. Alright, we've learned our lesson. We're getting rid of the late game. We'll, we'll, we'll top deck those later. And we have a Captain Cucumber, you can't... You can't not... You can't not... You have medium? <laughs> the only de deck we lost to was Infinity Pirates. I mean, that, that deck is... I don't know. You beat anything with that deck. I think we got a Meteor. This? Chonk. <laughs> I like to go 2, 3, and then these will benefit from the Cucumber, so we'll play this on 4. I like the, the small cards. Not the small card. Bro, stop cheese cutting! <coughs> this man's just ripping it. He ripping it good. Do I have to block this? He can't really do anything about Well... Alright, let's do this. Maybe I should have moved this to height so we can't acid rain. It's kind of the only thing I can do. That's fine. You know what? I'll just cucumber here. That acid rain being out of the way actually makes our Captain Cucumbers a little bit more versatile. Versatile! I have to play around Area 22, so if he passes, unfortunately. That's fine, right? Ain't no one cost card. A nibble would be the answer here. Yeah, huge answer. I'll take three damage, as long as he's not conjuring, and I am. Oh, win. I'm conjuring, and he's not. Behold, <laughs> and Morticia, Brain Nana, we take those. We take those. Here, that. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. Let's see what we get. Oh, whoopsies. I forgot that we can... Well, we can we can banana it out. Maybe this is correct. I think this is correct, actually. That costs six. Let's move this one here now. <laughs> you can do four damage. It's fine. We need a leap! We need a leap! Bup, 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 banana. Well, we'll just, we'll just pass here. Actually, we have banana synergy now. How about that? <laughs> the cyborg also does. Get right. This goes up to 2 one. Thank you, big floppa fan. Welcome to the fry boy. <laughs> and we get burp. Okay. It, it's good matchup against this thing. So now what? 
Uh, using the grape responsibility on the burp is probably going to be the play here. We also have banana manipulation. I'm thinking like, yeah, that's his whole turn too, so that's really, I mean, this is so good. I'm going to do this. Uh, I think I want to use the Brainana here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be like you. We'll take this Bounty Hunter for a ride. We're going to move this here, because I want the banana to die. Well, actually, I have two bananas in hand, which is very cool. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh, I got him buffs. Um, I wonder if I should use this card right now. I think overall it's worth it. I don't know what it's gonna have to have like dead ghosts in order to kill this before we can play it next turn, but uh, it's gonna be a good play. I know it's a little bit weird playing with the bird on ground, but we wanted to deal with this 4-4 uh, this and have a ton of health. I think we're doing really, really well. We got free superpower now. Oh, I forgot about, um, I forgot about evaporate this turn. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. <laughs> that play would have been so sad. What a waste of great responsibility. I probably should have played around that, but it worked out for the best. Free, free Scorch. So that's just a single... We have three and three. It's just a single Grace and Brain. Hannah's pretty good here. It would be just five. I My gut, rea my gut feeling is that Brain Anna is the play. I think we'll just tank this, too. I could also put this on the field. Gut feeling is this brain out. Uh, I guess I might as well use this to keep the cat from keeping, bro. Yeah. It's just teleportation. Side. Usually, a single gravestone from Morticia. Sorry, I didn't complete my sentence before. Is usually just a teleportation zombie, so brain Anna should get a ton of value. And it did! Um, is this worth it now? I think there's enough things that can kill this next turn from our superpower. That I'm gonna I'm gonna go face. There's a lot of things that kill a teleportation. Honestly, a teleportation zombie doesn't really solve anything anyhow. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh, we got Elder Mary. <laughs> we got Fairy Bless. We got We got Rumble! Oh my gosh. Honestly, in this board, this is probably the best superpower, period. Come on, man. That was fine. So Rumble props the block and sets up a bunch of garbage here. Do we rumble first? Pretty sure we rumble first. Should I Molok help for, for, for fun? Wow, that didn't proc the block though. Molok help for fun? Molecule for BM value. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm doing it. I don't care. Elderberry's the play, but let's just Molecule. <laughs> Guys, Amphibious Soul Patch. Oh, we draw another card. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Let's prox the blog. Strike through. <laughs> Amphibious Soul Patch. How is he going to deal with it? Think about it. What card in Immortitious Kit deals with this? That's what I thought. Yeah, that's guaranteed lethal, man. Summoning Glen. No, he's dead. No, no, just no. Just, just no. Ah, ten points of luck for that win. What is the? Oh, are we are we three and one now? Damn, this deck's actually dominating. <coughs> Zombot from Portal Technician. He didn't even go for it. He should have gone for it, man. I still haven't seen it. I've seen screenshots, but I have not actually seen the. In actual footage, or just playing the game, I would say. I haven't seen a live Zombot from Portal Technician. I should probably do a lot of Portal Technician decks until it happens. <clears throat> Is there any way you can get more than four Portal Technicians? You'd have to run Cosmic Sci Ohio Scientist. Even have a chance. Alright, well, we have Seedling. We're three and one now, right? Spiritin, this is your job. He's the the unofficial scorekeeper of the stream. Border, bordering on official. Uh, okay, so it's either a teleportation zombie 
drone engineer, which, in which case I cannot put this here, or it's sumo. I have to just decide what vibe I'm getting from this guy. Rank 44, Rust Bolt. Teleportation Zombie is a little bit more common. He's putting it in lane 4, it doesn't really tell me anything. It's not, probably not Drone Engineer. Well, okay, because there's a 2 two out of 3 chance, because of, because of Drone Engineer, which makes it a slight... Drone Engineer actually in lane 4 is the play. So... That is the one of those 3 cards that is played in this lane. So I'm going to put this here. I'll put it on Heights because, I don't know, Sky Shooter. Okay, nailed it. So Seedling lives. Sorry, I keep changing the... <laughs> I'm keeping track of the score with two different things here. <laughs> I keep getting rid of the luck score. I don't know, man. Lane 4. It, because of Drone Engineer, especially Lane 4 is where you play Drone Engineer. So it buffs all the other guys, so... We just have to take the risk on the seed lane. Come on, come on, seed lane. Come on, no more zero ones. Team up 3 3 for you know two costs. I think that's actually decent. Bry stop changing the luck score to wins and losses. <laughs> I know, I've done that so many times. Pop sure. Sunny sure. <coughs> Mall Kale this next turn will be really good if he keeps the 3 3 on the board. That's right. I think we just Mall Kale this. We'll get a 5 and a 4. And the damage is already done. This is a really sad because the two damage buff only lasts for one turn maximum. Oh my gosh. I think we just molecule. I think we do it here to protect this card. We'll get it all in one lane, so. Hell yeah. I'm so happy that if this makes a non team up, it still spawns. The it doesn't kill the blob, which is weird, but it'll kill it next turn. The four drop will die to the four four two exploding. <laughs> Guacodile. For those of you who don't know what that does. So he's doing the very cool strat where you... Oh my gosh, for real, bro? Where you put something in a leap station and keep it protected by, by this card. Take it, yeah. There's the Coca-Cola. Okay, so now what? I'm not seeing a plant food. Uh, I think we just spend one of these. Uh, we'll see if it can get a high attack. So it gets four. It's pretty good. At least it didn't get like a one. A one draw. It gains attack equal to the cost of the cards. So. Which, by the way, if you have a Captain Cucumber on the field, the card costs one less. It actually gets one less attack, too. No, that- bro, that didn't do anything. Okay, now it did. Oh, uh, that's a good play. That's a, a big investment, though. I mean, he's spending a lot. He gets a five-plus card, but he spent, like, two cards and... You know what I mean? To, to try to, to get in a lot of a lot of brains that turn. He's missing those five brains worth of tempo that he otherwise would have had. There's another molecule. Could work. There's a play where oh we can't banana peel. Yes, that's off the off the it's out of the question. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna not worry about this. It's gonna be two and four. This looks really good. And this this six cost card should definitely trade well against the three too. And this also sets up because we'll have more powerful. Oh my gosh, what a brainana! I know it doesn't trade well against a 3 2, but it's fine. It completely cancels six brains just down the drain here. We should do six damage and then proc the block, which is gonna start setting up this plant food. And we didn't really actually get this is our six boss card, so the Loco Coco is pretty bad there. The brainana was fine. Come on. That's still okay. I'll get five five damage here. This guy's still alive. Dear God. You know we really needed a higher a higher attack card just so we can plant food here, and this is this is not going our way right now. I 
It would have been nice to, to kill this with plant food and banana peel here, but unfortunately. Log that lane. What do we do here? Well, we can't meteor this lane. I, I think I just used the plant food now. This is really awkward. I really don't have anything to do here. For lack of a better play, I'm gonna do this. We'll proc the block from the six. We're gonna be really, you know, in, in danger in lane in lane four next turn, but you know, any of the tricks gets a little punished here, so that's a seven coster. Does that also just make a minion on the spot? Gosh. Hello. Teleport for another one. <laughs> Come on, man! Mechasaur is so powerful. It's a six bullseye, too. Uh, we're gonna have to top deck a plant food or a molecule of a shot here. Could have actually just won. What else is that? Time to Shine would have won, too. There's not a whole lot we can do here. So he gets an eight cost card now. We need a top deck of plant food to have a sh chance of winning. And we need him not to get, not to get, uh, the Blank Walker. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this one, guys. Honestly, if he doesn't have a Teleport or a Leap, we're good. What else would help us? Berry Blast from this card would help. Okay, we gotta dig for the Berry Blast first, right? None of these other cards are gonna make a difference. Uh, Sporticus, Strawberry, I meant Strawberry, for the win, for the win, for the win, no board space, I don't care, no one cares, yes, yes, get meteored, get him biggins, get Berry blasted straight in the face, that's right, <laughs> boy, that's how it's <laughs> oh, hell yeah, oh, man, 25 points of luck for that one. <laughs> We're four and one. Somehow we won that game. Some way. Somehow. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's highlight comp. There ain't no intro. That's some highlight comp right there, man. <laughs> what I'm talking about. How are we? We're four and one right now, guys. The, the bet is almost a gimme. We need to win one game out of the next three in order for it to be a yes. That's crazy, man. I haven't really seen the fig yet, but I can't really keep it in my starting hand. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thank you, gimme. For the five dollar boot. I'm gonna do this, I think, just to um, slow down this infinity. This is, again, it, I, honestly, right now when you play plans, I've been playing a lot of plans offline. I've been playing the Chumpzilla Espresso Fiesta deck because that deck is awesome. Um, honestly, there is a meta and it's Infinity Pirates. It's Con Man. Sometimes they run Swashbuckler. It's gonna actually remove this. I don't think I commit out. I'll, I'll commit this later. He's probably going to just bungee here. Um, luckily, he didn't have, like, a sugary treat. Okay, that's that, though. I could just play a Captain Cucumber to counter this. Well, it's one for one. It's also a hard card for him to remove. Especially if he passes here. 
I wonder if I just... Well, yeah, I, I really don't. He, I mean, he can free kick it. But uh, I don't want him just bungeeing something else here. So it's it's one, you know, for two cards. It took out a superpower. They'll do one extra damage, I think, on the card draw. No, it doesn't even do the damage. It's a weird game mechanic. Here's a doubled mint, so we'll play this when it's safe. It's very likely a pogo. Could be a line dancing zombie. Honestly, I think I'm going to commit the doubled mint. This is probably going to be the last turn that we're going to be able to do that. I should probably play the doubled mint on heights, though. So I guess I'll play... It doesn't really matter where this goes at that point. Should I play around Tomb Razor? Is this good against Pogo? No, I don't want the Pogo blocking this. I'm going to do it like this. It is that. So now he has a tough decision because this doubled mint, you know, he's going to bounce probably the Captain Cucumber. But the doubled mint is, um, it's going to cost a lot of resources for him to deal four damage now. He might end up just playing Mug here. In which case, I'll play two conjures. Could be another pogo. Oh, yes. Yeah, so he kind of has to bounce this. I should probably go after this card. The only card that does that means I don't play Captain Cucumber this turn. I think I'm going to do it like this. Let's see if we can get a decent mushroom. That's another 4-1. Forgot that the 3-3 Pogo. Alright, let's put 4 damage on his face. Let's see what he has to say about that. It's 2-3. Three. 3-4. Three, it doesn't actually deal with the Cucumber yet. With the double mini. Anyway. We're fine. I hope it doesn't block here. You know what, none of its walls in Crypt would be so sad. That's fine. He actually can't play Mug now. That makes our next turn so much easier. Oh yeah, he can play here. Well, he doesn't have the Pogo. Okay, everything's fine. We're getting a little bit low in health. Uh, uh, something to protect the double. I guess this really does end up even trading here, though. So we can go 3-3. Three and three. It's not a terrible play. Fig is not really going to do much here. Let's go three. Three. <coughs> That's a one cost three one. Zero cost three one. That's a good card. Good trade well against the line dancing zombie. He's buffing that because he doesn't like the cucumber. I think. Pretty good. I probably would have buffed the line dancing zombie even though we could just block this four damage. It would be nice. And Biggin would be nice to keep this alive. It also makes this into an even trade now, so. Uh, yeah, we just have to not die. Anything that heals, blocking amphibious, cheap cards, these are all in play. I'm probably going to just spam right now. So it's going to be two. That's a very cool card. I almost want to save the mushroom. Uh, this must see. I can't actually. If I could hit both of these, that would be cool. I could do the mushroom for just this one card here. The seven five. Do we just do that? Then we can molecule next turn. Is this crazy? And keeps the Captain Cucumber alive. A little bit of an insane play, but... I just, I'm a little worried about the health. Oh, well. Anyway. That's a lot of damage, though. It really puts him within imagine. You know, we can kill him this turn, perhaps. He didn't have anything to play. Any tricks to play with, like, five sun on the table. Well, that's close, plank walker. But he committed all the all the brains. This is a problem. All right, we need a miracle now. Um, a berry blast wins. It means we can't molecule. So I could just go for a berry blast. 
or cost plants. I can get a strike through. It's getting an extra five worth it here. We could play for very blessed. We win here. Two times in a row, it's probably more likely than getting something else. Alright, I'm going to play for a very blessed. That does not help. That does not help at all. <laughs> we just lose. The Malka would have been more fun. Maybe I should have just gone for that. <laughs> no chance in hell. I just thought the Berry Blast was way more likely than the Molecule. Alright, we're pouring two. I wanted to get the same miracle two games in a row, guys. <laughs> Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Shoulda Molecule. <laughs> I was so close to saying, but what fun would that be? I was this close. <laughs> oh, I'm having regret now. Thanks, guys. Thanks for making me double guess every decision I make. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're done so. Uh, two more games. Sorry, I keep changing the luck score. <laughs> Someone ping Ilya and tell him that I changed the luck score to wins and losses eighteen times, just out of habit. Oh, just a bad habit. I know what to do. I know how to solve this. I'm gonna put the new scorecard. And I'm gonna make myself export it every time we're four and two. What did he do? Just Kalady on one? Well, that's a, that's a reincarnation. We haven't actually not played our reincarnation as a reincarnation yet. <laughs> if we had gotten the berry blast, that would have been amazing for the strawberrying again. Think how many berries are in the game. There's like seven. Like how many? There's the chances of getting a berry blast or a strawberry in. <coughs> are very high there. Or an elderberry also actually would have won the game. So there's actually three cards that would have won in that scenario. Bro. Do we have seed link? <laughs> All right, we'll seed link that. I probably should play this and berry blast next turn. But... Well, what fun would that be? It's gotta be acid rain. Glad I didn't play this on the ground. Sure, I have to take back the root for legal reasons. <laughs> Hi, Kimmy. Thank you for three ninety nine. Is this really Kimmy, or is this an imposter? Well, we got Triceratops. Can't can't be mad about it's just seedlings. So you can't really be mad at that. Uh, Triceratops is a really good card with all these conjures. So let's go. Captain Jewcumber. I mean, you have to play two pets to mess this up, or one lunchbox. I'm so scared that he's gonna do too much damage to me here. You know? I afraid. I very afraid. Hopefully it's just Area 22 and he's just doing, I don't know, a setup. Do it! Ah, uh, that's fine. He alien, wow, he was gonna alien use this and he's more afraid of the Captain Cooper. That's smart play. It's another one. Another one. What the hell is that? Don't do that. <laughs> Okay. Well, this lives now. I wouldn't mind getting another Berry Blast here. Oh. That's cute. It's very cute indeed. Uh, uh, I don't know. Just Captain Cucumber and say, screw it. I think that's the play, actually. How do you make a donation? Here's a link. Thank you, Nidvi. 
Ow. That's fine. He's not really doing any face damage, and he didn't have like a. I thought he was gonna lunch box or nibble here. So this is actually gonna have three health now. Triceratops is getting off the. Oh, oh here's the dumb dinosaur. Here we go. What we're doing over there? You know what I'm saying? Now what? Man, these mall kills. Not very good here. So we very blessed this one. I don't know. Really, just controlling him is all we need to do to win here. Should I try? Should I do this later where it's not good? I think this will make a better trade. No, we're not supering, so we'll super this next one. No! How did he fall? <laughs> he saw the high voltage last turn. He's just running Squirrel Herder. Okay, well, it's a pet deck. It's not as BS. This is, by the way, an, an aggressive, I mean, a pet deck, you have to kill them by turn four. Turn four is long gone, and uh, we, he's done three damage as the first damage he's done to us so far. Gosh, I don't even want a Molokel. <laughs> it's not good. He's gonna be so concerned with these cards. That's fun. Maybe I just Molokel. Uh, this actually goes up above. It goes up to 4-4. Four, four. Oh, so that's pretty good. And we'll just drag the shark in with this card. Oh, the shark doesn't die! Oh, whoops. I was gonna make the shark die, but then I forgot. No, the shark does not die here. Alright. <laughs> we're sad. It's for the greater good, guys. We're sacrificing seedling. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. The play probably was Bananasaurus Rex here with Super to kill the shark. And then put the doubled mint here. Honestly, to use Super in this situation, in this matchup. Oh, well, that's fun. That is fun, folks. Okay. We actually have a better plan now. <laughs> Gonna be much better. First of all, nine damage just wins here. Don't sneezing. That's lame. <coughs> I think this is a pretty safe play. I'm gonna put this here. I'll super up. Kill the child. No, I didn't. I promise it wasn't me. It was the Jews. Blame the Jews. Hopefully it doesn't happen next. He has two cards in hand. The chances of extinction event are extremely low. Uh, this will kill the shark too, and probably just proc the block. Small chance of winning, actually. Very high chance of winning. This is, guys, this is 24 damage to face and kill the shark. It's pretty damn good. Hi, fi I was the last boat you faced earlier. Smells keep up the good work. Thank you, job for. Good game to you, and good game to this guy. Guys, we're 5-2. <laughs> Extreme luck. I don't even remember any luck that happened that game. Extreme luck. We're at 77 luck, guys. <laughs> Damn. We're 5, and that's it's a yes already. The answer is yes. We'll play one more game to finish it. How is this deck doing so well? This deck sucks. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I'll keep... Okay, should we go for a double fig this game? Just for funsies? Alright, this will be fine. I, I regret a double mall. You know what? I'll keep one fig. We, we have to not make the mistake we made just keeping the two four drops in our in our starting hand. It's crazy. Deck's better than Psycho Punk, but way better. Um, You know, I'm doing it again. I can't have this headstone carver getting more than a 1-1 one, one buff on something. <laughs> <laughs> Still wins this trade if he plays a gravestone here, but... For I also killed a child in inscription. Which one did I kill? Did I sacrifice the the baby dragon? Wow, so he doesn't get anything from that. Um, in high on life? Well, in high on life, you have to kill the child. Well, maybe you don't, actually. 
It was a 30-year-old alien, so it wasn't actually a child, so shut up. That's my problem. I don't know. Please refund my fries. If you refund them, my sub. <laughs> you think you're gonna bribe me into winning the bets? Guys, the answer is yes. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Enjoy your fries, believers in RNG. Guys, if you believe in RNG Jesus with all of your soul and all your might, I should become a pre. I should start a religion, is what I should do. Then. RN Jesus will will be your savior. Is there anything I'm worried about here? Breathe environment? I'll play around for environment. Just a little bit. Well, uh, it doesn't make any difference, actually. <laughs> thousand year old and a dragon. <laughs> It wasn't a child, it was an adult that acts like a child. There's a difference. I know people nowadays don't understand that there's a difference, but there is a difference. The hell is this? Uh, the Triceratops looks juicy here. This is a 3-3, a pretty expensive way to not really do much. <coughs> I mean, it's a berry blast. Is this berry blast worth it? I could actually just play it here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll play this here to make a good trade. And then I can ping something next turn. I'll get double value. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the fig becomes bad here. We'll see if he has an answer to this cucumber. Yeah, at least cucumber is hidden face. The bonuses. Ugh. It's okay. It's still like a two for one. Procs a block. Ow. Conjures A. Give him something good. Alright. Count it. Here's another card. This does four bowls. <laughs> we have this combo. <laughs> up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. So this does nine, nine, and eleven. We're close to lethal. So very close. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing this. I'm doing this play. And now we are going to move over here. And now we are going to move over here. <laughs> I should probably play this too, right? <laughs> and now we are going to banana bomb you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Yay! Yes! Yes! Did we win there? <laughs> we didn't have an answer to any of that. Guys, we're obviously up to... What a great way to end it. We're 6-2 and two on the day. 99 points of luck. What an amazing stream that was. Man, I gotta just do the all luck decks. Maybe next time I'll just do a guard feast deck. So you guys will shut up about it. We gotta do some more Bad Moon Risings. It's just so much fun. <laughs> anyway guys hope you enjoy that was the captain cringe basically all but a couple of cards rng looks like captain cucumber though man such an underrated card kind of carried us through the whole thing captain combustible superpowers too just having like blazing bark and time to shine doesn't really get much better than that hope you guys enjoy that was amazing peace this is fry